Hey guys, so for today's unboxing video, we're gonna be unboxing the Nintendo Switch OLED model with the blue and red Joy-Cons. So if you don't know, I got this Nintendo Switch OLED for Christmas of 2021. Oh, ah, no way! Guys, I got a Switch OLED! So, um, yeah. But before we unbox it, let's just take a tour around the box. So on the front, you got the name Nintendo Switch OLED model. And it shows the beautiful Switch OLED with, again, the blue and red Joy-Cons. Yes, I got it with the blue and red Joy-Cons. And the black dock and on the top it says nintendo a and then on the right side it tells you everything it comes with which is the switch tablet the left and right joy cons the wrist straps for both joy cons the hdmi cable the dock the joy con grip and the power adapter obviously the power it and then on the left side it tells you all the new features which features the seven inch oled screen because again switch oled and also comes with 64 gigs of storage compared to the 32 gigs of storage from the normal nintendo switch and i think the switch Lite 2 uh you also have the redesigned dock which now has rounded corners and an ethernet port for better connection and you also have the new kickstand which is now adjustable and a lot less flimsy like guys i remember trying out the switch kickstand on another switch hold that i've seen in person the kickstand is beautiful so oh and also if you're curious on the back it's just a lot of text i also forgot to mention in the video that on the back of the box it shows you all the modes you can play it in which is tabletop mode tv mode and handheld mode along with showing the joy con wrist straps and the new adjustable kickstand so finally let's get into it so now we're going to actually open the switch oled so first i'm going to get my scissors and pretty much what you do is you go to the bottom uh right here you can see there's a sticker right there that's taping the opening for the switch oled and it looks pretty complicated to cut so give me a second All right, there we go. So we got the seal off. So now what you do is you pull this tab and then you pull this grabber and then it will reveal the switch itself. And I'm just gonna move over here, turning it over. It looks like, so turning it over, it looks like it tells you to plug it in, set it up and then yeah. But guys, ready for the epic reveal? Let's show the switch itself mom get a cinematic angle three two one oh, oh my gosh oh my gosh guys it looks so pretty oh my gosh well guys let's take a look so the first thing we have is the switch tablet obviously and it's in this lovely plastic right here, which we can just slide right out. Oh my gosh, there's already dust on it. That's okay, but guys, check out that OLED display. Seven inch OLED display. Oh man, gotta admire it before it gets scratches from taking it out of the dock. Uh, oh, and also guys, the back. Oh guys. Feels so good. And it's the new kickstand. See, guys? It's, like, adjustable. Nice. And then that's where the Joy-Con slide in. Oh, man. It is beautiful. But we're going to put this to the side because we also have the left and right Joy-Cons. This is the neon blue one. Let's check that out. And now let's take it out. Oh my gosh, I've actually never felt a Switch joystick brand new. It feels, oh, it feels so good. Because all the ones I've felt, felt feel greasy. Maybe that's just me. Anyways, it, it it feels amazing. Oh my gosh, the plastic feels so good. But we also have the right Joy-Con that is product red. Oh, oh 
Oh my gosh, guys, look at it. Joystick feels nice too. A, B, wait, A, B, X, Y. Oh, and then you got the shoulder buttons. Oh, it's so good. Oh, and then both of them. I actually feel pretty good. Nice. Oh, well, we are going to put this aside. So let's take a look at what else we got. So taking this out, I'm just going to put this over here. We have, I'm pretty sure this is the Switch dock, if I'm not wrong. It's a little hard to pull out. Yep, it's the Switch dock. So we have the Switch dock in this lovely bubble wrap. Uh, I'm just going to take that out. Oh, it's a lot of wrapping. They really don't want this to get damaged. I mean, me neither. Also, I'm just going to move this plastic while I'm at it. Oh my gosh, the dock looks so good. So yeah, guys, this is the redesigned Switch dock. As you can see, it got a makeover with these rounded corners and a smaller Switch logo, which in my opinion actually looks a lot more sleeker and cleaner. Um, and then, yeah, that's the inside. It's very glossy, actually. Oh, looks pretty nice. I don't know if the camera's catching it up, but yeah. And then we have the back Nintendo. And then this is the area where the cables come out for cable management. But if you want to plug in cables, you just take it off like that. And yeah, and then inside, I don't know if you could see, but we have the USB-C port for the power, the HDMI port for connecting to a TV, and the new Ethernet port so you can get better connection. Another thing I also forgot to mention in the video is that on the left side of the Switch dock, there's also two USB ports, just in case you need to charge a Pro Controller or something like that. And honestly, it looks pretty cool. And then obviously, if you want to attach it back, you just cling it on the bottom and then snap it in and then the cables can just come up right there for cable management and also it just looks nicer too so we're just going to put this to the side as well and we also have the hdmi to well hdmi cable I'm just going to slide this out Ooh, looks pretty nice so yeah this is the hdmi cable so we'll be using this later to connect it to the tv and then we also have so wait oh this over here we have the power adapter. Let's just take this out. So yeah, guys, we have the power adapter to USB cable. So I'm just gonna put that to the side. And the last thing, I'm pretty sure, wait, is it the last thing? Oh no, this is the second last thing. We have the Joy-Con grip. So let me take these out of the plastic. So these are the Joy-Con grips. Take a look at that. And then, yeah, and then pretty much you just slide these on to the Joy-Cons. And then if you're playing, like, the Joy-Cons on them sideways, you can, you, you get much better shoulder buttons. And also, you have the the wrist strap, kind of like the Wii Remote, so that it doesn't fly out of your hand if you're using, like, a motion control game. Like, 1-2 Switch. I don't know which one to mention. And the final thing, I'm pretty sure, yep, it is. We have the Joy-Con Grip. So pretty much, if you don't have a Switch Pro Controller, you can just slide your Joy-Cons in here, and then you'll get a sort of relatable feeling to the Switch Pro Controller. Actually, wait, let's try it out. So I got the Joy-Con. Wait. Am I doing it right? Oh, okay, it's a bit stiff, because it's probably just new. Ooh, nice. It's a very stiff feeling. And then the left one. Oh my gosh. And guys, this is the Joy-Con grip. So again, it's sort of a feeling to the Switch Pro Controller. Not as much, but there you go. Nice. So now we're going to slide these out now. Put them by the Switch again. Oh, the right Joy-Con's really stiff. Ah, now we got that out. So we're going to put the Joy-Con grip to the side. And now that we unboxed everything in the box, I'm just gonna, that's a lot of plastic. So yeah, now that we unbox everything, let's get to the main thing itself. So before we boot it up, let's take a tour. So obviously on the front, we have the seven inch OLED screen. Looks pretty nice. And on the top, we have the power button, the volume buttons. We have the vent, obviously for the air. We have a headphone jack and the game card slot, which you could just, peel out and then oh shoot i dropped it oh no oh there's dust anyways yeah that's where you put the games in and then on the left side is where you slide in the left joy con on the bottom we have the area where you open the kickstand right there 
and then we have the USB-C port to charge, and then we have these dots, which I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they trigger the TV mode for the dock when you plug it in. I also forgot to mention, once again, that there's also two stereo speakers, right there and there. And then on the right side is where you slide in the right Joy-Con, right here. And then on the back, you have the Nintendo Switch logo, and then again, the kickstand. And also, under the kickstand, you have a spot to put the micro SD card if you need upgraded storage. Because, again, even though 64 gigs of storage is kind of a lot of storage, you'd probably want more storage if you're, uh, if you're getting games, especially digital games. So, I, I doubt it has power out of the box, but let's see. It does, and all oh, that OLED screen looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Nintendo Switch. Oh. Oh. Alright, so it wants us to connect the Joy-Con before you... There's a little bit of dust. Are you guys ready? Let's do the right one. Oh, the sound effects. And you guys ready? Oh, so satisfying. Wait. Oh, the Switch startup screen. All right, now we got the setup. So I guess we'll go through this quickly. So English... Uh, I guess the Americans. Let's see. Uh, accept. Internet settings. Oh, now, now we got to connect it to our Wi-Fi. So it's searching for networks. 5G Wi-Fi. Now I'm going to enter my password. All right, so guys, we just connected to the Wi-Fi. So now it's asking the time zone. So let's see if we can find it. Toronto. Would you like to connect to a TV to to a larger screen. We would, but I still need to find an HDMI port on the receiver, so later. Detach the Joy-Con controller from the console, okay. Uh. All right, well, first, guys, since this wants us to use tabletop mode, we're gonna use the brand new kickstand and prop it up. So guys, now I got the Joy-Cons. Let's do next. You can use the console with the Joy-Con controllers attached or detached. Yep. Choose the control style you prefer, then continue. Okay. A user will be added to the console. Create new user. Import user data. Well, I'm not importing from another console, but I have an existing Nintendo account. So what happens if I press this? Okay, never mind. No. Uh, was your Nintendo account linked to a previous console? Uh, well, I don't have a previous console, so I'm just going to say no. Okay, new user. Uh, for now, I'll just use Mario. Enter a nickname for this user. I'll just do Jack for now. Plus. This user will be added. Uh, let's just skip. I only need one user. Nintendo Switch Online. Well, I'm already paying for the service, but I haven't signed it to my Nintendo account, so I'll just do next and skip. Setup is complete! All right, so guys, as it says, the setup is complete, so let's press home. Oh my gosh, guys, it's on the home menu. Oh my gosh. Well, guys, we have the Switch OLED unboxed. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to find an empty HDMI port to plug the Switch dock into, and then we're going to plug it into the TV. So guys, we got the switch all plugged in. I even have the ethernet cable plugged in for the best connection. I also had to borrow the HDMI cable from the PlayStation 3 because there was no HDMI ports left. And obviously we have power in as well. So let's do it. First time putting it in. Oh. Oh. Oh, what the heck? Well, it's four by three. Wait, I can change that. Don't know why it's four by three, but again, as I said, we can fix that. Picture options. Yep, it's in four by three. Okay. How about now? Why is it blurry? Huh. I don't know, but there it is on the TV, and I'm going to get the this blurry picture fixed in just a second. Here, let's actually fix it now. Let's go into settings. Sounds working, that's good. Let's see, is there like TV settings, TV resolution? Why is it only 480p? 
Aha! That is very odd. Wait, TV sound? Ooh, surround sound. Definitely want that. Whoa, that sounded good. All right, well, surround sound works. Um, but I gotta get this uh, T. Oh wait, I just screen size. Yes, I, I definitely need to do that. I noticed it was cropped. Okay. Well, guys, it's uh, it's still really blurry, so I'm going to get it fixed, and we will be right back. So, guys, we finally got the resolution back from 480p to the glorious 1080p. And by the lighting, yes, it is a few hours later, so much later that it's pitch black outside. But anyways, we got the Switch all fully working. And as you can see, I've also downloaded a few games. I've downloaded the NES Switch Online games, the SNES Switch Online games, and Mario Kart Live. And before you ask, no, I don't have Mario Kart Live. I just downloaded it for some reason. So yeah, that is the end of my Nintendo Switch OLED model unboxing and setup. And in case you were curious, here are all the Switch games I have so far. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to comment if you have a Switch OLED, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!